Scorpion Interactive Portal Operational Overview Welcome to the Scorpion Interactive Portal. The portal is designed to give clients and business partners access to information via the web interface. You'll notice from the default home page that there's a lot of information available even before you log in. In this section we post top videos. We have available now a tour of data tech and a managed services interview. It tells you a little bit more about managed services. There's also access to the cyber advisor. So if you click on that link, it'll take you out to the data tech cyber advisor, which has a lot of great information about what the latest information and technology is available. Further down, you have some support documents. So you have some quick access to tips and tricks, you know, how to use the Barracuda, how to set up a droid to access a hosted exchange, uh, how to make Adobe faster. There's some support links to X client downloads. There's a speed test and there's a make an outlook faster link. We've got some live news tickers, some information about some of our key services, and also some links to our recent technology blogs. There's some quick access to support via the support V card. With the support V card, you simply click on the card and it will import all the information to Outlook as a contact, so you'll have that information everywhere you go. You can click the back button to go to the previous page. There's an online knowledge base where you can search for information uh, on technical articles that the support technicians have posted. You can search by any of these different fields or you can simply click the search button to bring up a list of all of the, the articles in the knowledge base. Click on the article number and it will give you some details. And again, you can click the back button to go all the way back to the beginning. If the information you're looking for is in here, you can collect, click on the Select Information button and simply submit a request. Usually, uh, a support engineer will get back to you within the hour. Uh, you can click the Home button to get back to the Home page. If you need some help, you can click the Help button page, and that'll basically give you some additional information and some helpful links. To go further into this system, you can sub uh, submit support tickets via the support page. And depending on what level of your service agreement under the support request options, you'll have different options to support requests. Uh, the service review options, you can look at a list of work orders. You can review your active tickets, which are the support request tickets that you've submitted. You can view closed tickets, and you have uh, access, uh, quick access here to the knowledge base. You can also view a uh, dashboard of, of your company's information. At the bottom, you'll see a list of the technicians and what their status is, availability, and extensions if you need to contact them. And going back to the home page, uh, seems a little bit of a delay here. Okay, back to the home page. And uh, you'll have access to your customer dashboard, which is a uh, kind of a consolidation of all the information available to you. You have your, your client detailed information. You'll have a list of any of the interactions uh, for your company, which are support requests. Uh, you'll have a list of open work orders. The difference between a support request and a work order is support requests are usually handled by help desk technicians and work orders are usually printed when uh, on-site or premise-based work needs to be done. If there are any documents specific to your company, documents or pictures, uh, they'll be listed here and you can access them. And if you have a service agreement uh, with our company, then that service agreement will be listed here. Some companies do have multiple service agreements uh, with us. To get details on that service agreement, simply click the service agreement number, and then you'll be presented with uh, some information on that service on that uh, service agreement. Again, if you go back to the support options, uh, here you can see there's a view of list of your active tickets, and to see the details on any one of those tickets, simply click the ticket number, and you'll have information on the ticket along with any interactions. Uh, to the right hand side via the interaction tracker. The interaction tracker is simply a list of um, items that the service technicians have done uh, to, to resolve your ticket and you may also participate in that conversation by clicking the new interaction button and submitting uh, your request. 
clicking the home button takes you back home. Uh, there's some advanced information if you have company level access. You can actually uh, create and delete any users that you want to access uh, the system from your company. Uh, you can look up order status. Any orders that you've placed uh, with the company will be on the order status page. Uh, active service agreements, again, will give you a list of your, your service agreements, and then you can get further detail on those service agreements by clicking the service agreement number. It basically gives you all the information on that service agreement. When did it start, the length, if it was a retainer-based, um, when does it expire, any serial numbers that it may be uh, associated with and what type of agreement it is, and then any work orders that are associated with that agreement. And for, to get detail on those work orders, you can simply click the uh, work order number, and then now that will give you a full breakdown of the work order, the problem that was reported, the work that was done, any work order or detailed billing associated with that work order, and then the interaction tracker on the right-hand side will give you uh, a list of information that was done for that particular work order. So if you have multiple contracts, they would be listed here as well. Um, also on this page, you do have still access to the videos uh, and uh, some surveys that we like to put out there so that you can give us feedback on uh, our services and things that we can do to improve our service to you. That concludes the basic overview training of the Scorpion Interactive Portal. Again, feel free to uh, explore and, uh, uh, oh, additionally, you may find some more information under the My Company page about expired service agreements. Um, if you have regularly scheduled services with us, you can see the schedule of the services. If you're a partner or reseller, there are specific sections here where you can uh, get some additional information maybe on other clients that we're managing for you. Uh, there's a, a resource manager. If you happen to be hosting with us in our data center, you can check your resources and basically see all of the information about uh, your your computers and servers and different items that might be in the data center along with your IP address and uh, very detailed information about each one of those components. Uh, the network information, connections, general information, the location in the data center, specific location. If it happens to be a virtual server, there's a lot of virtual details that are available as well. So the resource manager helps track a lot of that information. Uh, if you um, happen to participate in a project with us, we have an online project manager. And here you can view the status of the project. If we happen to be doing a server or computer install, there'll be a lot of detailed information on the project on uh, which uh, team members are involved, what the service schedule is, and and uh, what, uh, what the task list is and the status of, of all those items. So again, that does conclude uh, the overview of the support portal, and uh, feel free to contact us if you uh, need any additional information. Thank you.